Good morning to everyone. Guys, I would like to share with you the install which I did in my own house and what that involved in a matter of saving the most money on my installation, the good quality installation and plus long lasting air conditioning unit. I would like to present you 10 points to get your air conditioning installation and they are planning, budgeting, researching, selection, estimates, installation, permits, costs, preparation, and testing. Planning. So in planning, you need to know the size of your room. That means you need to determine the square meters of your room. And also, you need to know the quality of insulation of your walls because that will determine how strong you need to go with the air conditioning. And after that, you need to plan and decide do you want your indoor unit to be on outside wall or on the inside wall this is the, the planning which we're doing first we're thinking to put the air conditioning here we use this room for a little bit of a conference room so we set up the chairs and we have a, a, a conference and we decide we thought if we put on this wall where it will blow on just on the people who are here and decision then i thought okay it's better to install right here on top and to blow gently on everyone this is an exterior wall so the benefit is now as i mentioned i don't require a condensing pipe so we will drill a 65 mil hole straight out and the condensation will leak out this is the inside wall if i would have installed it on inside wall that means i needed to put l-shaped trunking and then to run pipe outside for condensation to leak now the decision is where the outdoor unit goes you know in america it's a plenty of space not in england in england everything is tight we use every space which we can so in this area so we'll put some timber we'll screw the brackets and we'll put the unit here our uh, indoor unit will be on this side of the wall so everything should be okay we will see how that will turn In budgeting, you need to have a bit of research, what kind of units you want to install, how large, what's the prices. So you take about two or three units, best spoken, and you can have research online about it. We use very often the word cheap, medium, expensive. So on budgeting, of course, you will go different makes. I advise you to go for about three makes. Uh, you go online, look to the prices and you have to research on uh, the particular item what every single item gives you back and the, in, in a matter of quality and the warranty to help you to understand to budget correctly your price for installing the unit please research thoroughly about the systems of air conditioning. So there is uh, several systems of air conditioning. There is uh, uh, split units, there is uh, duct units, there is window mounted, and also there is uh, floor mounted air conditioning units. Secondly, you have to find out about the warranty. What is the warranty of every single uh, make? For instance, for example, Daikin gives you from one year to three year for free. If you want to have five year warranty on parts, uh, there is an extra purchase on uh, that. So you need to find out if they include warranty within that cost without uh, implying extra cost for warranty. Also, please, I would like to encourage you to stick to the end on our video and I will help you to understand how to help your system to last the longest. The next step is the selection. In selection, you've got to select your unit according to your cooling needs and the budget. But the first and the top is the cooling needs. Because at the end of the day, you will care more how cool it gets in your room and how fast it gets in your room. And second part on selection, you've got to know what will be your bill at the end of the month. 
how much you need to pay extra to your bill. So that's why the system needs to be chosen very thoughtfully in the mind of with energy efficiencies. So in selection, when we speak about the cooling capacity and energy efficiency, you always need to follow its A double, uh, double plus or A triple plus. And they, the, the, the manufacturer is obligated by law to give you exactly what you will consume per year. And that can be divided per month and you can have an understanding what extra cost you will have. Very important to have a good understanding of this because at the end of the day, you have to pay the bills. Estimates. Guys, after when you've done all the costs and uh, all the calculations, now you need to have estimates for installation. And you uh, find out a HVAC installer, you can of course uh, search uh, on Google, you search on different uh, uh, platforms to find out, or the best is to ask some friends. They might know, you know, uh, to advise you if they had uh, any experiences with HVAC installer. So after when you got the prices, uh, ask them to give you breakdown of prices. So you want to know how much is the unit, how much are materials and what involves in it, how much is the electrical part and how much is labor and what about the uh, warranty. So this is very important. And also ask the HVAC regarding any promotions and discounts he might offer to you. Then when you have these estimates, you will be able to compare, but uh, you will have, of course, three prices usually, cheap, medium, more expensive. Never jump to the cheapest one. I will strongly advise you, understand why they're cheap, understand why they medium price and what, why the other ones are uh, more expensive. So that will help you to decide to choose your HVAC installer. After when we finished with the estimates and you had three estimates, now you are closer to decision to do your installation. Now, this is probably one of the difficultest part to choose, not uh, just an installer which is cheap or medium or expensive, but a reliable installer. So now you will be looking into a different research about the installer. You would like to find something about him. You would like to see if he has any YouTube or social media and what other customers say on the reviews regarding him because you know, we know all, we, beside the fact that we are looking for a good price, affordable price, we would like to have a trustable person who comes into your home, respects your home, keeps your home clean. And also, of course, when you choose the installer, you don't want just immediate installation and that's it. You want a long-term care that you will be able to communicate whenever you text the, uh, the installer with the different questions that he's not delaying or answering you after a week, but uh, trying to help you. So this is what you need to look when you choose an installer. I'm glad we have a roof. Permits. Guys, the next step on 7th to obtain the necessary permits. One of the most important permits is to talk to your neighbors. You know, in UK, the houses are very close to each other. And if your unit is very close to the window of the neighbor, you have to have an agreement. To, with the neighbor to let him know, but he needs to know if that's noisy or not, that you make sure you have peaceful uh, relationship with your neighbor. But they also, in flats, you have to obtain permits, uh, either from the landlord, either from the council. So you need to do a bit of research in regarding of permits before you carry on the installation. Cost, what should you expect 
that you would pay for the system installed. The general price you would expect is 1,550 pounds. Uh, and because there is a green initiative in UK, you don't pay VAT, so that will be everything. You don't pay on top any VAT on that, so that's lovely. If you go for a bit expensive, you might uh, end up paying 1,750 uh, pounds for a system. So let's say you decided uh, 1,750 pounds. What that includes? That includes actually single split unit, which will do your uh, bedroom or would do your medium size living room, like let's say 3.5, 4.5 kilowatt. So that's the, the price for that. All right, so let's say you finished your installation, so you come to the point of testing. Now you have your install, everything is there. It's your responsibility to understand how everything operates. So make sure you take initiative to test on the heating and test on cooling to see that uh, uh, air conditioning performs to the standard which uh, should work. So that will be on a ninth uh, aspect which you need to uh, uh, take uh, action on it and that will help you to understand also how the unit works, how to use the remote and so forth. <laughs> Maintenance. So remember I told you to stick with us to the end and I will tell you what should you do to make sure that your uh, air condition installed will last as long as possible. So that is the maintenance of your unit. So you have to schedule with your HVAC installer the time for next year to uh, come in a specific date, of course flexible, so you, he can come and uh, clean the filters, uh, check the outdoor unit to make sure that everything is operating according to their uh, standards. So that will allow you yearly uh, maintenance, will allow you for air conditioning to function uh, prolonged time. Let's say there is a noise appeared and you didn't notice on the outside unit. So if you do these checks regularly, the HVAC installer can pick this up and take action straight away before it breaks down. That's why maintenance is crucial that the air conditioning will work for a long period of time. Some even air conditioning uh, work up to 15 years if that maintenance is done regularly. And also regarding maintenance, you need to know that Cleaning the filters of the unit, the cleaning filters, it has, has to do also with the cure, pure air which comes into your room. If you don't clean that, there is a development of bacteria which can affect your health. That's another aspect. Air condition might function, but it can affect your health. Very important, take in consideration cleaning your air conditioning every year. I hope these 10 points were useful to you, that you may have a, to choose your installation, your unit, what system you use, the costs involved and the benefits you get and longevity of your air conditioning. All of these working together will help you in uh, your choice. So as also we did, we did the same research, we have our air conditioning installed, we're happy with it and we want for you to have the same experience. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, Click on the screen that you may watch another video regarding the seven things you need to know when you install air conditioning.